Okay, we're on to example number two. Determine the exact primary trigonometric ratios for the point P on the terminal arm. Determine the angle from standard position for the terminal arm. So you're given a point P of negative 3, 4. What are we supposed to do with this? Well, my suggestion is that you draw out a Cartesian plane and estimate where P is going to be. You should have all determined that P is found in the second quadrant, and that's the coordinates, negative 3, 4, and we join that point to the origin, 0, 0. So we now have our x value and our y value. Our x value is negative 3. Our y value is 4. We need to determine our r value. How do we do that? We use Pythagorean theorem. Pythagorean theorem says if we take x squared plus the y squared, that should give us the r squared. That's the hypotenuse squared. And we find out that r will equal, end up equaling 5. We only look at the positive value because remember, r is the length of a radius, and length will never have a negative value. So we have our r value. We now need the three primary trigonometric ratios, the exact values. So sine theta is equal to 4 over 5. Cos theta is equal to negative 3 over 5. And finally, tan theta is equal to 4 over negative 3. What that does, let's go back for a second, is that we ha now have our three primary trigonometric ratios. We also need to find the value of theta. To find the value of theta, you would take the, uh, the inverse of one of those three. My suggestion is to take the inverse of sine, use the positive one, take the inverse of sine of 4 over 5, and that gives us an angle value that is known as the reference angle. Once we find the reference angle, we can take 180 minus that value to find the actual angle. So again, we would take sine theta, we would take sine inverse of 3 over 5, and whatever that value is, we would, that would end up being our theta from reference angle, or our alpha, if you want to see the little alpha that's here in the corner, our reference angle alpha. And then what we would do is then from that we would get the value. Okay, so one more time, let's draw it out so that you guys see this. And here is all the pieces, again from the last question, just to show you what to do. Now, if I took the sine inverse of 4 over 5, I would get the value 53.1301. If I took the cos inverse of negative 3 over 5, I get 126.8699. And finally, the tan inverse of negative 4 over 3, and I get three different values. Uh, sorry, I get a third different value. Which one of these answers is right? Most of you are thinking that the cos inverse is right. But how do you know? Here is the trick, or what you need to remember is that you need to take the inverse of the one that's positive. That will guarantee to give you an answer that is known as the reference angle. Even though 53 degrees is actually found in the first coordinate, sorry, in the first quadrant, it is important because it's also our reference angle. So 53 degrees, 53.1301, is actually the reference angle from the terminal arm. 
So it's, it would be found right here in the corner, and it would be considered the alpha right here. So this is where 53.1301 would be found. You need to find the angle from standard position. The angle from standard position is 180 minus that 53.1301. And that turns out to be an angle of 126.8699. All right. Next, let's look at the next example, please. Oh, there are no more. All right, folks. This is just an example of something to do with a point. You should be quite familiar with this. We've already looked at another example like this. Anyways, get to work on your homework and ask me any questions tomorrow. Have a numerical night.